All right, guys, back with another video here. Just realized we got these in here, and um, I didn't realize I didn't make a video for you guys. The aftermath. I think we did an aftermath on my car, but um, this one here is a friend of mine. He ran this car, uh, as you can tell, it's pretty rough looking. This is uh, 411. This is the one that ran that uh, my old Square Vic that you guys seen um, from Somerset that had the in car cam because. Tell me, you forgot to hit record, and I forgot to hit record again for uh, Listy. So, I'll try to give you guys some videos. This thing here is rough. This car was a 1993. I'm not 100% sure. It's a 90, 90, let's say 92 to 94 Lincoln Town car. Um, ended up breaking an axle in the feature, but this thing made it through the heat. I mean, it's hit got pretty bent up the back. Kind of went all right. It bent up, it's kind of funky. I don't know, this rail over here started pushing that way, which this car was pre ran already. Um, and I just, it bent real weird. I don't know if it's because of where they had the things at. But this side got the living snot beat out of it. Look how far them doors are in. Look at that, you can see the front tire, and I'll show you the front frame here. But, um, it bent so bad they have the rear end into the tires and ended up um, taking almost all these are fresh fresh tires um, the inside of the car did pretty good held up good this is what I always tell you guys to run a bar if you do not run a bar could you imagine how far that post would have been in that post would be halfway in the floor um, but it, I mean you can tell it bent you can see it there I actually held really well um, up here I'll show you. Kind of hard to push this in the ground. I'm getting ready to strip this thing because we're cleaning up for the winter and get ready for next year. But I mean, this whole side, it did have the fender. The fender was literally here. I'll show you this thing. It's it's pretty rough. That's what's left of the fender. It was hanging on by the the welds. Um, we ended up just welding bolts to it and stuff like that. Uh motor in this thing's a 351 Windsor nothing special um, thing ran amazing lost two radiators as you can tell there's a the radiator it's shot no core support left um, bumper fell off you have one of them uh, Smith Metalworks bumpers on the front I think it was too heavy for them shocks we should have put different shocks on it and welded it because it snapped it right off um, <clears throat> other than that, I mean, it's a quarter of junk, there ain't no, it, I'll show you up here, I was going to show you the frame, his side didn't do too bad, the car didn't bend up, now when we got this car, it was bent a little bit, so we ended up pulling it down, well, we did find a rust spot, and as you can see back in there, she pushed straight back, now this one, we didn't change any body mounts out, these were all stock body mounts, they all ripped out, um, this side here, suspension held good, didn't bend anything. Now uh, this side here, look at that wheel, it kind of looks okay looking at it now, but you see how bad the bottom's pushed in? I thought it bent tie rod. If you look down there, bent the lower control arm. And these things are pretty beefy, I've never seen one of them bend like that. And uh, I don't even think this side of the frame went anywhere, this side of the frame was actually still good. So if it wasn't for that rust spot, that's why he got taken out. He couldn't really turn here. It wouldn't turn so far because I mean, we even put smaller tire on. It's hitting, you can see right there, it's hitting the crush box. But, uh, I mean, it, it did hold its own. It got the snot beat out of it. But this motor is what impressed me the most. I cannot believe I got it on. I bought a car come out of an 84, 85 uh, LTD. <clears throat> the dang thing. We got it running and it sounded good. So we ended up uh, putting in a car. We ran a two barrel carb on it, HEI distributor setup on it. And I think did amazing. Normally Ford motors, as soon as they get hot, they will not start to sink fired up every time. I don't know how, but um, other than that, that's about it for this one. Um, just getting stripped and going to the old junkyard because there's no, no repair. We'll save some parts. Motor tranny's coming out, dry shaft, rear end, even though the axle's broke. 
I always save them because you can always get a new axle, put a new um, seal in the end, refill it, and go again. Because I mean, I know they ain't the toughest rears, but they're sure heck better than these newer style uh, 9802 rears because them suck. I mean, they they hold, but the trailing arms are garbage on them. So we'll save this. This is a old 88 out of like a uh, 90 and down Crown Vic. Lincoln, Mercury, but uh, heck, seems like the only thing that did survive on this is the driver's door. So I will be taking all this out, get my steering wheel and stuff out, and then oh, another thing too, I want to show you quick. You guys get, I still don't know how this happened. <clears throat> Ended up, you can see there where it tweaked on the floor. It's kind of hard to see because the leaves has been sitting for a while. It tweaked right across here, and actually. Blew my battery up. See the big hole? Now, it's kind of hard to see, and you're probably upside down because of how I'm holding it here. But this thing had a all-thread battery box bolted to the floor. <coughs> right there's the bolts, and it's this is heavy all-thread. This ain't the cheap stuff. And, uh... Weld the box up. I never had an issue. I've been running these in my car, and I don't know if just how hard this thing got hit. Or he did put this in. I, I kind of wonder if he didn't put it down too tight and over tighten it a little bit. But either way, I still can't believe it blew the battery up. But um, I st I'm still going to run them, but I still can't believe this thing actually still turns over with that battery. So we got to take that out and get rid of that battery. <coughs> But other than that, that's about it for this one. Um, she's going off the junk. We'll save a couple things off of her, probably the booster. And I got to get a new cap for that, which I think this coming year I'm going to buy a brake pedal. So I'm done with uh, worrying about boosters because when I do, you know, when I do my LSs, the header, <clears throat> when you put that big of a motor in a car like that, it's not really a big, big motor, but the header hits. Um, hits the side of the oh, right here, the brake booster on my car. See this one it clears. But mine it hits about hits about right here. And it's just a pain to do the brake line. So I figure we'll get the brake pedal that has everything in there and we'll just hook up back brakes because that's all I ever run. I mean I'd like to run all four but it's really honestly all you need is back brakes. Um so that'll probably be it for that. Um I'm going to give you, there will be another aftermath going up in my dad's car, so this is our good friend's car. Um, like I said, he has, uh, he don't have an in-car cam of this car running. I did mine and didn't hit record again as usual, but if you go on and look at, uh, just type in Listy Derby PA. Um, this car was in the first heat. There should be two parts to it. Um, then the second heat was my car, the LS. You guys can watch that. You can't miss my car. They're always painted the same. So just type in Listy Derby 2020. Now there's two of them because one's a spring derby <clears throat> and one is a fall derby. So if you guys want to check them out, you can. You can see this car run. This car did run Heat 1 and did run V8 feature. So if you want to check it out, go check it out. And, um, guys got any build questions on this or anything that you, you know, any tips or anything like that? Uh comment down below and uh that's gonna do it for this one we're gonna finish stripping it get it out of here and get something new in here so you guys uh remember to like share and subscribe any questions comment down below and see you next one